Get in zone, AutoZone. Welcome to AutoZone. What are you working on today? I think my battery's dead. With free battery testing and charging, we can help you get back on the road. Get in zone. So what if I need a new one? No problem. We have the right battery for your car, starting at only $89.99. Get in zone. And what about my old battery? We can recycle it right here at America's number one battery destination. Get in zone. AutoZone. Restrictions apply. Wake up at Holiday Inn Express to a can't-miss breakfast that's free with every stay. Count on all the hot, fresh coffee you need and an incredible breakfast buffet that has something for everyone, like eggs, cinnamon rolls, and even hot, fresh pancakes with all the toppings you crave. Next time, do yourself a favor and stay at a Holiday Inn Express with a can't-miss breakfast that's free with every stay. So, when you wake up at Holiday Inn Express, you'll wake up happy, a part of IHG Hotels and Resorts. What's going on in those little cat bodies? I'm Drew Barrymore, and Tidy Cats wants to help us figure it out. Tidy Care Alert is a new litter that uses pH technology and color-changing crystals to help detect changes which could indicate a potential health concern. It's also non-clumping, lightweight, and has a powerful odor control. Who knew that keeping an eye on my cat's health could be so simple? And I'm so glad that I can find the latest litter from Tidy Cats like Tidy Care Alert at one of my favorite stores, Walmart. Second date update. When listeners submit requests for phone taps or second date updates, yeah. they'll send us an email or you can also fill out like a little questionnaire on yeah. our website. Yeah, we have like a submit form. You actually go to brookeandjeffrey.com slash submit. Yeah. Hey, that's almost yeah. too easy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you do it, there's a section on there where we ask people to tell us a little bit about themselves mm-hmm. so that we can get an idea of who they are. And the guy on the phone today wrote in the about me section, he Alligator wrestles on the weekends. What? what? Has a collection Whoa. of inflatable blow up dolls oh. and okay. used to drive submarines for Russia until they fired him when he opened a window underwater and they didn't like that. Shut up. He's so, joking. I don't know if he was joking. <laughs> I'm just going to take him at his word I for like it. it. Please welcome disgraced <laughs> Russian submarine captain Eric to the show. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Not even an accent. Wow. wow. Eric. Eric's not a very Russian name, and yeah, I don't yeah. detect any Russian accent. You must be, uh, must be quite the spy now. He says Don. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I mean, I get it. Like, you'd want fresh air if you were on a submarine. Yeah. Right, You yeah. know? Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Frampton here. I'm guessing, that is so funny, I'm guessing <laughs> some of that about me section wasn't 100% true. <laughs> well, I think you can all agree. It gets a little stuffy with all the men on a submarine. Oh, uh, okay. okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. So that part was true. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rest was. yeah, gotcha, yeah. Gotcha. Oh my but, god! But, hey, thanks for the laugh already. Yeah. Like we 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 didn't even get you on the phone before I started laughing. Yeah, Brooke doesn't laugh yeah. that hard at any of my jokes, yeah. so you should yeah. probably be in my role. But yeah. we, I know you wanted to do a second date update here. You went out with a woman recently. I do. Yes, I went out with a very lovely woman by the name of Dana, and we had what I thought was a terrific date. Can I okay. ask real quick? Did you guys meet on a dating app? We did. Does your dating app include the Russian submarine information? <laughs> I don't remember whether I included that on the app. I mean, you know, I've got so many things that I use. It may have. I don't recall. <laughs> so what stood out to you about Dana? Well, there was one particular photo that I really liked. It was part of the city that's near and dear to me. And I saw her sitting there and it just uh, it really attracted me to her. Oh, that's interesting. Like, she obviously loves something you love. Is it the sewer Uh, where you wrestle alligators? Is that the area of the city? (laughs) Well, you know what? As funny as that would be, no. Really, we (laughs) we, uh, connected on travel. That's probably the main thing. Oh, Oh, okay. Okay. Wonderland. He was a fan of that, and I had a lot of photos from my travel experiences. I... Not to say I'm the around the world in 80 days guy or anything, but I've, I've been to a number of countries that I've enjoyed. So, so which right. country did you travel to for your first date? <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if it was that exotic? That would be cool. Oh, my God. Or did you go simpler with it? Well, no, we went much simpler. And really, I don't want to name names. We were mostly on opposite sides of the city, and she set it up. Uh, she was willing to come toward my side of the city oh. to... Uh, a small place I hadn't heard of. Oh, she found the spot that was near you? It was closer to me. I wouldn't say near me, but Got definitely it. closer to me. She came more than halfway to meet me. Okay, her. was it That's like a great. bar, a restaurant? Where are we at? It was a restaurant. It was a very small, independent Italian restaurant. Olive Garden. 
independent. <laughs> it was um, lovely weather. We sat outside, had a glass of wine, had dinner, just rehashed some of what we had talked about in our initial phone calls. Okay. What was the vibe between you two? I was very much attracted to her, and I very much thought she was attracted to me. Okay. Based on what? What, what was there, yeah. like a moment or like a like something that happened that gave you that feeling? Oh, that she was attracted to me? Nothing. Well, <laughs> perhaps you, you read into this what you think, but... I, I love men. She showed up. She was Jeffrey. there and she didn't leave. So yeah. she must be at least sort of into it. A couple it. times when I talked, she responded. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When she went to the restroom, she actually came back. Yeah. Wow. There you go. Hey, look at us. I mean, I know that w. sounds crazy, but a lot of these second dates end yeah. with them going to the bathroom yeah. and never yeah. coming back. So. <laughs> when will she be back from the restroom? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I do want to mention. I do want to mention the moment that you asked for, and you can oh. tell me what you think of this. Okay. That is, when it was time to leave, I had such an enjoyable time with her that we got up to leave, and uh -huh. she was standing in front of me. Her hair was up, okay, and the back of her bare neck was in front of me, and I just couldn't help it. I bent down, and I gave her a kiss on the neck. On the, on the back of her neck? The back on of the neck? Like she didn't even see you coming? Interesting. <laughs> Did not see me coming. Aww. That just made me, like, flinch my neck. As crazy <laughs> as it sounds, or creepy as it sounds, she turned around and smiled. Are you sure it wasn't a cringe? Yeah. I am sure, because okay. some things happened later on. I don't want to go into detail. It was nothing that... Ah, she then... kissed the back of your leg? So you started... <laughs> no, not at all. He starts top, she starts down. <laughs> start Eventually, they meet in the middle. <laughs> We got to know each other a little bit better. We were slightly huh. more intimate than that. Huh. Well, maybe you nice. did find a good match because I, my gut reaction to somebody doing that would probably be like, turn around and elbow him in the 100%. face or something, you know? <laughs> you know what's bad when Brooke says she isn't into it because she hasn't gotten any action for years. So <laughs> she, wow. she should be open to anything, honestly. <laughs> Lick my neck. Yeah. <laughs> well. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, maybe that's the reason why she's not reaching back to me. Okay. It's hard to think though because she she Went did after. Yeah, yeah. I'm assuming you're saying made out with you later. Yes, uh, that was it exactly. I kissed her as tenderly as I could and tenderly. she certainly wasn't against it. Okay. The more you yeah. describe your kissing, yeah. the the I less I like. It. The tender neck kiss sounds Yeah. <laughs> so let's we're going to go into as little description as possible yeah. when we call her and then we'll come back get oh. your second date update. Hopefully, if can she we, answers. Can we call her tenderly? Nah, no. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Tenderly. I think she's had enough tender stuff <laughs> happen to her the tenders. last few hours. <laughs> we'll come back, get your second date update right after this. Hold on. Second date update. You know, for our social media, yeah. I feel like we don't do quite enough to describe what's happening in these second date phone calls. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I mean, because it's you, we obviously can't have the listener on video. Right. I think we need to give people more of a visual of what happened on Eric's date the other night. So we're going to start rolling some video right here in the studio and yeah. have Brooke get up out of her seat. Wait, me? And walk around to Alexis. What? Hey. And oh, tenderly no. kiss her on the back of the neck <laughs> the same way that Eric did to oh, Dana no. on this is gonna his go first date. wine and pasta. It's a We've had Italian this night. I have a <laughs> feeling, Alexis, you're going to like this yes. way more than you think you will. I don't think so, actually. We've See? had this request Bro on the text for years. Just ate lunch recently, too. But you might go back eating. after oh. this happens and start kissing all of your female roommates yeah, on the no. back of the neck. This might be a new, like, bonding activity for I, you guys. My breath is hot, too, because I just had, I had fried jalapeno. Oh. with my with just my meal. I've never seen Brooke this right. excited. I bet you can feel me coming from like four inches away. All right, right. here comes Brooke here doing a little oh, saunter yeah. dance over to behind Alexis. Oh, Alexis, expose your neck to her, please. <laughs> She's digging through <laughs> her hair. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's not going to work. Too much hair. Uh, oh, no, thank God. I have some, should we get the scissors out? Uh, I don't, no, no, no. Uh, okay. I, I'm just going to let you know I'm turned off. Uh, sorry. Oh, yeah. You're turned uh, off? Yeah. Bed, yeah. That's so insulting. No, I didn't like Alexis it. really liked Dude, it. Dude, your neck is kind of hairy. We <laughs> tried. The girls in studio do think, though, that's the reason that Eric is not getting a call back because oh. that was his go to move yeah. at oh, the restaurant. If it was restaurant. anything like what I just felt. I can't imagine being Eric and making that decision to make that happen. Eric, they're thinking that might be the reason that she's not calling you back i 
certainly hope not. Uh, at the time, it seemed like the thing to do. Had you pulled that move Did before, it? or is this a first time for yeah, you? That's a good question. No, first and only time. I couldn't help myself. I was so attracted to her. That's honestly better. Uh, because she had happen. bent down, leaving her neck a little bit exposed, and like a shark on shark week, Eric swam oh. out from behind one of the tables and just planted one on her open neck. There were no teeth involved that time. No teeth. Uh, okay. that time. I mean, they did make out later, so she wasn't completely turned yeah. off. She was like, yeah. Must have been sort of into it. Yeah. Those Italian wines at that restaurant must have hit pretty hard. God, I need some of that right now. Yeah. Oh my now God. we got to call Dana. Here we go. I'm going to dial her number right now. We'll see if she picks up. Hello? Hey, we're looking for Dana. Uh, yes, who's this? Uh, this is a radio show called Brooke and Jeffrey in the Morning. That's why I said we. Hi. Hi. There's more people here. Okay. Hi. Can I help you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're doing a segment called a second date update, and we're trying to help a guy that you went out with get in touch with you again so yeah. that you guys can meet up one more time. Um... I'm not sure I'm interested in participating in this, to be Uh-oh. honest with you. Oh. Well, maybe it will be when you find out who it is, you yeah. know? Because as far as we've heard, it was a great night, at least according to Eric. Oh, my God. Remember what? Ita- uh-huh. Italian restaurant, Eric? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I got it. What did you think about the date? Um, I don't know. I mean, it was going okay. But I don't know, after we hung out, I was kind of just reflecting on the whole date thing. And he he just seemed overly comfortable and experienced, like, more than I expected and more than other guys that I've met on this app have been. Experienced? Like, he seems really used to dating. Like, he just did this all the time. Well, like He's an adult male. That's kind of nice. Like, that's not awkward. Doesn't mean yeah. 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 I feel like he would want somebody who, who feels comfortable around yeah. you. Mm-hmm. I guess I'm not describing it right. I'm talking more of, like, a gigolo type of vibe. Wait, like what? <laughs> a gigolo? Oh. oh like an like, escort? <laughs> wait, okay, wait, like... What do you mean? The like, same like he... Eric that we were talking about who uses the word tender a lot. Yeah, so I went home and I was telling my roommate about it, and she told me that there's this Facebook page called "Are We Dating the Same Guy?" Do you know oh. what that is? Oh, oh yeah, every girl yeah. in the world. Yeah. What is? No, I, I don't know what that is. I thought you were gonna say, and my roommate told me she hired him for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? What's "Are We Dating the Same Guy"? So, "Are We Dating the Same Guy?" is this thing on Facebook where, like, it's basically a mainly women, mm-hmm. and you post the picture of the guy you're dating, and you see if anybody in there is also dating the same guy to see if he's, like, you know, dating multiple people at the same time. Yeah. So see if he's a player, yeah. My roommate convinces me to post his picture on it, and Ooh. I was like, whatever. Oh. It doesn't seem like a bad idea. I don't know. That page seems pretty toxic. I've seen it. Alexis <laughs> has shown it to things. me, yeah. and it's like... It's sketch. Are you? Sure? I bet Eric came back with glowing reviews. I don't think any woman on no that page guy. says one nice thing about <laughs> yeah. any dude ever. It's never like, here's the one that got away, ladies. No, no, no. And Sometimes it says, I don't know him. I haven't heard anything. But, but, oh. Maybe nobody said anything. Yeah. What, did you get any responses? Any feedback? Well, the interesting response is that there were people that said that they've been out with him on dates before okay. and whatever. But sure. the most shocking part was that, like, Three other women have commented saying that he kissed them on the back of the neck, and <gasps> I didn't even mention it in my post. Oh, what? Yeah, like, so one girl comments in the picture saying that she had been out with him, and he does this weird, super weird, oh. like, back of the neck kiss, and then two oh. other girls oh. comment under that, like, oh my gosh, me too. He told us that he had never used that move on any other yeah. woman before you, that. that you inspired him to do it. It was honestly so weird and so creepy, and it's oh. like, this is like his I calling love, card. I yeah. love that Jeffrey's so upset, like, you got lied to. I you do. Know? Yeah. It's, like, yeah. it's like, Jeff is upset. First yeah. I find out he's not really a Russian um. submarine captain, yeah. and now I find out he's actually kissing multiple women on the back oh, of the neck. No. What are you going to tell me next, that he's secretly on the other line listening, wanting oh. to talk to you, Dana? Oh. Because he is. Uh-oh. Oh, he's there. I'm what? Sorry. He's not on the phone. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, girl. That, that's how the segment works. Works. I'm sorry, uh, Dana. Yeah. Eric, you there? Yes. Hello, Dana. Hello. Uh, Hello. I'm here. Uh, Eric. Oh, this is so this is almost as awkward as the net kiss. Oh. You told us that you didn't you didn't kiss anybody else. Is this just something you do to everyone? No, not at all. It was it was only you. That 
what we had during the dinner, I couldn't control myself. And there you were. Eric, Eric, I literally just said on the radio that three other women (laughs) have said the same exact thing. So without her prompting them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say to that. All I know is uh, I, I was so overtaken. Just own up to it, Eric. It's a dumb move that you use that you thought was romantic. Well, I don't think it was a dumb move. I mean, it <laughs> certainly progressed the date. That's true. Yeah. I mean, you, you didn't <laughs> you did stick around after the neck kiss, Dana. No, we thought it was I true. only stuck around cuz I thought it was only me. I didn't know he was a serial neck kisser going around the city. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you would have been okay if it was only you. It seemed like a spontaneous romantic moment. That's no. Eric, we're running out of time here, so I'm going to give you 20 seconds to talk to Dana. You can tell her whatever you want to say and try and convince her that you are really into her and you want to go out with her one more time. Go ahead. Dana, I had such a lovely time with you, and I know you enjoyed being with me, too. Oh. Please never mind whatever else it is that you're hearing. Please <laughs> give us another chance. Oh. I know if we spend some more time together that you're going to enjoy it. I really think there's something there. It's like he read a he read a bad like sales book on like it's always really good. always be closing. I felt it's like it was good. Anthony Hopkins reading a line from Silence of the Lambs. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's up to you, Dana. Would you like to go out with Eric one more time? We would pay for that date. I mean, look, it was a little bit weird that other girls said it, but up until that point, I was totally fine with it. But once you got on and denied that other girls said that, uh, now you're just a creepy and a liar. Like, now it's just... Uh, see, bro? Brooke was right. She just can't It can clean. only be one. Uh, yeah. Creepy or a liar. It's the triangle thing, yeah. right? Eric, I'm sorry, yeah. man. We tried for you. And I really was hoping for a different outcome. Dana, <laughs> are you sure? Please. Yes, I'm, I'm sure. Please stop dating women in this town. They all know about it. <laughs> I was say, it like yeah. You're going to have to find a new move, I think, yeah. dude. You're going to have to go for a different part of the body, maybe behind the ear or no. something. Yeah. Or like no, 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 no. <laughs> That's his go-to. No. He's a sneak attack guy. Drop the go-tos. Nobody should have a go-to move. It's <laughs> weird. Everyone kisses on the lips. Uh. <laughs> Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. Well, gentlemen... Take surprise back of the neck kiss out of your Rolodex of first date moves. Dang it, Jeff. Eric please. ruined it for us. <laughs> oh, Eric's the one that did it. Yeah, I picture in my mind yeah. at least like 700 men yeah. taking out a little black book, giant red marker, <laughs> yeah. crossing it off. I yeah. was actually thinking this like as a bro if one of my homies and I'm like, dude, how was your date last night? And if he said, well, I got a neck kiss. I would be worried. It's, it, but I it's would even not like congratulate. I mean, maybe when you're kissing and you move down, but it's like just mm. that. No, but not the back of the neck. And that's the where front we're of the neck that's is... where we're starting. Yeah. Well, yeah. the problem with the kiss was not that it it isn't sexy. Yeah. That's it's true. that it's too played out. Eric what? has done it to too many women I mean, in this that city. Her issue. That was now her. Liked it. it's not unique anymore. Uh, it's like gently brushing the hair out of a girl's face. Yeah. Everybody's done it. It's yeah. not sweet. Don't Leave that hair there. Yeah. Yeah. Don't don't touch yeah. my hair. Yeah. 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 I'm covering my face. I don't want to see you for a reason. Yeah. Actually, like, stay 20 <laughs> feet away from Alexis <laughs> the like, entire I combed day. my bangs down like Sia on purpose. <laughs> I feel like Alexis would flinch. Like ah, yeah, yeah, yeah she would. But (laughs) even though that move is now officially not allowed anymore, no more neck kisses, there's plenty of other things you can go with. Plenty of other ways you can screw things up. No, and we're that's gonna, true. We're going to be there for you. <laughs> we'll yeah. help you. Through all the uh-huh. mistakes. Not screw it up, but we'll help you. We'll, yeah. we'll help you get back there on track. Yeah. Email the show. <laughs> we'll call that person who isn't calling you back. You can check out all of our second date podcasts. Learn all the mistakes people Ooh, have made in their past. Yeah. Wherever you get your podcasts at Brooke and Jeffrey. Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. No one likes to talk about money. Am I saving enough? Can I buy a house? Am I paying too much in taxes? Will I be able to retire? What if you could unlock insights about your finances in less than five minutes with a clear picture of where you stand today and where your money can work harder? Now you can. Visit facet.com to take the free quiz and get your financial wellness score today. 
That's F-A-C-E-T dot com. This ad is sponsored by Facet. Facet Wealth Incorporated is an SEC-registered investment advisor. This is not an offer to buy or sell securities, nor is it investment, legal, or tax advice. Tearing up asphalt, concrete, and soil is a dirty job. What fuels me to get it done? Big crews and big toys. What fuels my equipment? Senex Ruby Fieldmaster, a premium diesel fuel with an additive package that's two and a half times more effective in preventing injector deposit buildup, delivering the power I need in the dirtiest conditions. Senex Ruby Fieldmaster, fueled by innovation, power to perform. The Hartford Small Business Insurance knows that running a small business is a big-time commitment. So this holiday season, they're celebrating hardworking small business owners with a chance to go to iHeartRadio Jingle Ball in Miami on December 16th. Nominate yourself or another small business owner for a chance to win a trip for two. Includes airfare, two-night hotel, tickets to the show, plus $1,000 in spending cash. For official rules and entry information, visit iHeartRadio.com slash small business.